Ta 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 testing. Test, test, test. Hey there, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to go through my September favorites. But before I get started, I'd like to address a common question that I've had. Drum roll, please. So the question is, who is Ayana Kingsbridge? Ayana Kingsbridge is basically just my alter ego. My Sasha Fierce. She's just who I am when I'm feeling frisky. On all of my social media, it's either Ayana Kingsbridge or some derivative of that name. All right. Okay, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, my first September favorite. Ba -da -ba 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 -da 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 -ba -da 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 so this first favorite is the bees and knees. It is the best. It's just the best. Anyone who knows me is probably rolling their eyes because they're going to hear me talk about this again. And it is witch hazel. Witch hazel has so many beneficial properties. It's an astringent. It's a toner. It can reduce swelling. But most important of all, it has saved my life from bug bites. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a scratcher. When I get a bug bite, I just... It's something I'm working on, okay? But I will just, I don't know, just, I can't even talk about it. I will scratch the sugar honey iced tea out of that thing. And one day I went to visit one of my friends and it was a great evening except for the fact that the next day I had at least 20 bug bites on my feet because I was wearing sandals. I was basically dying and in a nutshell I could not find relief. And um, so I Googled it, as any millennial would do, and I found that Witch Hazel alleviates um, itching. Not only did I find that to be true, but I also found that Witch Hazel also can be a repellent if applied beforehand. Ever since, I've been using Witch Hazel as a repellent, and it's amazing. Uh, I find it works better than any other off or lotion or etc etc blase blase blase. Keep it in just a little travel size to go container. Isn't it cute? It's pink. One thing I have to say about witch hazel is uh, I learned that some witch hazel does have alcohol in it which can be uh, more drying to the skin which may not even be a problem if you have oily skin. My next purchase will be um, alcohol free witch hazel. My second two favorites are TV shows. I thought this would be appropriate since September is really the beginning of football season. At least I think it's the beginning of football season. Growing up, I wasn't really a TV watcher, but now, I don't know, there's something slightly luxurious about just curling up and watching a good show. Maybe with a glass of water or something else. I'm done talking like this. So the first show is The League. And for anyone who hasn't heard of The League, um, I believe it's on FX, but I actually watch it on Netflix. And uh, what I love about Netflix, that should actually be a favorite now that I'm thinking about it. It's about a group of guys, and Jenny, who basically uh, have a fantasy football league. Uh, I'm not a real sports person, I don't know a lot about football, but this show is just hilarious. It is crude humor, so um, if that's not your thing, then don't watch it. It's crude. It's stupid. It's so good! If you do like football, then what are you waiting for? What you waiting, 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 what you waiting for? The second show I wanted to talk to you guys about is The Real Husbands of Hollywood. It's Kevin Hart. Enough said. Drops mic, walks out. Moving on. Another favorite that I have for September is Neutrogena Face Cleanser and Makeup Wipes. These I buy from Costco because it's that serious. You just really get off your makeup. I don't know what else to say. I wasn't able to use makeup wipes before I found these. My skin's fairly sensitive, so most makeup wipes I used before these I will break out my face. I've been using the makeup wipes for a few years now. I feel like it really gets like all the makeup off. What's new to me is the foaming cleanser. I use this now to go to bed and it even says here that it is a makeup remover and cleanser in one for refreshingly clean skin. What I like about the foaming cleanser is it does just what it says. It is a great makeup remover. After I use it, I don't have raccoon eyes or um, 
yeah, it's like my makeup's really off. And when I wake up in the morning, I don't have the remnants of what I didn't wash off last night. So kudos to Neutrogena, my number one. I do have combination skin, and with the foaming cleanser, I do feel like I need a heavier, a thicker, more um, substantial moisturizer. So that's why it's great to use it at night for me. And if you have an, if you have oily skin, it might be great for you. I don't know. I will use the Burt's Bees that I mentioned in my August favorites. I'll use that in the morning and the Neutrogena Foaming Cleanser in the evening. I just thought I should mention that I don't use both of these every night. Uh, I just use the makeup wipes when I'm feeling super lazy. It happens, don't judge me. And then I use the Foaming Cleanser when, you know, I'm a boss. Last but not least are these Gourmet Garden uh, Stirrin Paste. My two favorite are standoff between the cilantro and the basil. I wish I had the basil here, but I wasn't thinking and I used it all. I'll insert a picture here. You might be feeling fancy, but you don't feel like chopping all these herbs to make your meal a better place. So these pastes really make life easier, especially if you're a foodie, cook, lover of everything delicious like me. Another positive thing is that these last a lot longer than herbs, like unless you grow them in your garden, uh, cilantro or basil in the fridge will go bad, and these last for weeks. And actually maybe I'll make a video of what I like to do with the cilantro and basil paste. Okay, well those are all my favorites for September 2015. Thanks for watching.